effective campaign to lure back visitors who may have been discouraged by the crippling drought in living memory. The Provincial Trade and Investment Promotion Agency, together with all spheres of government and the private sector today, launched the Nowhere Does It Better campaign that's aimed at bringing the tourism industry to double-digit growth figures. Cape Town is world-renowned for being one of the top tourist destinations, of course, uh, boasting Table Mountain and the natural splendor uh, of the Western Cape as well over the past few years, and specifically last year. However, the city has had to send out a stern message to save water amid one of the most crippling droughts in over a hundred years. And of course, this message unfortunately has had a negative impact uh, on uh, the international markets and also uh, the message being sent to international tourists. Now, we know that tourism is one of the key economic drivers for the Western Cape, contributing something like 39 billion rand uh, to the provincial economy. And today, a campaign launched here at the VNA Waterfront uh, of speaking about this, of course, is the CEO of Westgrow, and that's the provincial trade uh, agency, trade promotion agency, Tim Harris. A very warm day to you. So, uh, uh, Noe does it better. Can you just tell us, firstly, why this campaign has come about? Well, as you mentioned, the messaging around the drought was very effectively disseminated around the world. It created the impression that we were in a crisis that was affecting the tourism destination. And what that did is it saw a drop off in our tourism numbers from major markets over the past few months. We've started to recover, but this campaign takes it to another level. This is about saying we're open for tourism. If you're looking for an extraordinary range of experiences and attractions in a very close geographic proximity, nowhere does it better than Cape Town and the Western Cape. This um, specific campaign, Tim, also um, is a collaboration, uh, local government, uh, provincial government, national government, but also uh, the tourism sector business. Um, as they have come on board with Saving Water in this crucial sector, they've also now brandied together uh, to support this campaign. Exactly. So the lesson from the drought is if we're going to stem the damage while we're in the drought, we have to work together. We have to put out a single message. We've taken those relationships that we built during the worst of the drought and we've used them to put together this truly historic campaign. If you look at the campaign, it's got no logos. Even though it's funded by South African Tourism, the Tourism Business Council of South Africa, Western Cape Government, City of Cape Town and the major tourism players here in the Cape, you won't see any of their logos on the campaign. It's a white label campaign which which means any of our partners, whether they funded it or not, can brand it and put it out on their channels, put it out to their clients. So it's a, it's a historic campaign in that it provides a single voice for the whole destination. Whether you're, whether you're a government player or a private sector player, put this message out about how nowhere does it better than Cape Town and the Western Cape. And of course the iconic Table Mountain is, one of, is the feature, um, the iconic feature being used as part of this campaign now. Yeah, one of the things you you realize when you market a destination globally is there's a lot of beautiful content out there but there's a few places where when you glance at the Eiffel Tower or you glance at Paris and you see the Eiffel Tower in the corner you instantly know that it's Paris in France. We are fortunate in the Cape to have Table Mountain. It features in all of the collateral, all of the prints. Every single bit of uh, campaign material around Nowhere Does It Better features Table Mountain. That means if you look at it, even for a split second, you know that we're talking about Cape Town and the Western Cape. The other historic element is the fact that there are no logos on it. All it says is Cape Town and the Western Cape, and then it's up to our partners to brand it and put it out to their markets. We think that means that the 13 million rand we raised to drive the campaign will be significantly boosted by other players taking the collateral and putting out the single message. I've spoken to David Frost a short while ago from Satsa and he was saying that as a country, South Africa needs to increase international arrivals, for example, to double digits. Um, what is it that the Western Cape specifically, um, what kind of growth is the Western Cape and Cape Town looking for um, as part of this campaign? Well, fortunately, we've, we've had a big result over the last few years in improving international flight connections out of Cape Town and the Western Cape. Cape Town International has had 13 new non-stop flights, 18 routes expansions, about one and a half million new seats into and out of Cape Town International each year. Um, so we've transformed the airport as a connectivity hub into the city, and that's helped drive airport arrivals by double digits over the last three years. Even through the drought, we've experienced strong growth in international 
international tourist arrivals. So we hope that Cape Town can be part of getting South Africa to this growth performance that we need to get our tourism economy back on track. And I hope that this example that we've put together here in the Cape of collaboration between national, provincial, local governments, South African tourism, ourselves at Westgrove, Cape Town tourism, and all of the major private sector partners coming on board, putting out a single message, can perhaps be a lesson to the South African tourism industry about collaboration and about how when you work together, when you co-fund an effort like this, you really break the sound barrier. Thank you very much. Uh, Tim Harris, the, the CEO of Westgrow, of course, the Western Cape's Trade and Investment Promotion Agency, talking a bit about this uh, No Where Does It Better campaign. And, of course, the aim of this campaign is to uh, change the mindset, change the messaging um, that may have created a negative perception uh, about Cape Town in the light of this uh, recent drought and water crisis, uh, saying that Cape Town and the Western Cape is indeed open for business.